Hello and welcome to the Unit 1 tutorial for Ed Scratch. In this video, we are going to be looking at the environment of Ed Scratch and also how to download your first program into Edison. The environment for Ed Scratch is comprised of four key components. The block palette over on the left, which houses all of the blocks available in Ed Scratch. The programming space where you build your program that will be downloaded into Edison. The programming space will always have the start block. It will also have a trash can and zoom controls over here on the right. Next up, we have the menu bar along the top, which contains the menu dropdown where you can create new programs, load or save a program or load demo programs. Next to that, we have the save button, which saves the code down to your computer. And then all the way over on the right, we have the program Edison button, which is to download your program into Edison. Then finally, all the way at the bottom down here, we have the bug box, which will show up any and all errors that are in your code. We're gonna start with the block palette. The block palette, as I said before, contains all of the blocks that are available uh, in Ed Scratch. To find a block, you simply select a category from the top section and then drag and drop a block out into the programming space. Any blocks that you drag and drop into the programming space must be connected to a yellow start block uh, to be downloaded into Edison. Any blocks that you drag and drop in underneath the start block will be run in order when the program is run. The order of these blocks can be changed by dragging and dropping blocks in between other blocks just like this. Blocks input parameters can be changed by simply clicking on them and changing numbers or clicking the drop down and changing the drop down parameters to change how Edison behaves when running that block. Every single block with numbers or drop downs can be changed in a similar way. Blocks can be deleted by clicking and dragging them down into the trash can or clicking and dragging them back into the block palette. Deleted blocks are not going to be downloaded into Edison. Now that we've talked about the block palette and the programming space, let's take a quick look at the menu dropdown. The menu dropdown is the place to create new programs, load, and save the program to your computer and also to load demos. So to load a demo, simply click on the load demos option in the menu and it will give you a pop-up complete with a bunch of different demo programs. I'm going to choose the test program. That will then load into your workspace just like this. To download this program into Edison, go to the top right and click the program Edison button. This will give you a box and a nice little animation that tells you that the program is compiling. Once the program is compiled, you will see that box turn over to say program Edison. Click this button once more and the program will download into your Edison. Now it's time to talk about the bug box. The bug box will show you any error messages that occur through your program. So as I said before, any blocks that are not connected to a yellow event will be ignored and not downloaded into Edison. This is shown to you down in the bug box at the bottom here. Anything yellow is just a warning. It is just there to tell you that your program may not behave exactly the way you expect it to. In this case, if I was expecting this spin block to be downloaded into Edison and it's not going to be, uh, this warning is the one that tells me that that block is not going to be there. The rest of this program will work perfectly fine in Edison, but it will not ever do this spin. So that is trying to tell me that the program's not gonna behave exactly as I expect it to. That is okay, the yellow error messages are just a, a warning and Edison will still accept a program download with a yellow message. The other type of message that can appear in the bug box is a red message. So if we click and drag all of this off here, you will see that there are no blocks connected to the start event, so there is no main program for Edison to run. This is a red message. This means something is critically wrong and the program cannot compile to be downloaded to Edison. So if I attempt to program Edison right now, it says that the program cannot be downloaded while there are red errors. Anytime you see a red error in the bug box, you must fix the red error before downloading the program to Edison. So in this case, we can simply click and drag our blocks back, connect everything back together, and now the program will download successfully. 
And that is the end of the Unit 1 tutorial for Head Scratch. In the next video, we'll be looking at Unit 2 and going a little bit further in depth on how to build your own programs.